says that lightning doesn't strike twice? This is Captain Chris with Poker Runs of America, and I'm here in Washington, North Carolina, on the site, the iconic site of Fountain Power Boats, and I'm here today with Brett Palachek to walk through the all new redesigned 47 Lightning. Brett, give me a little idea of what you guys did to this boat. Uh, so the big changes for the 2020, uh, obviously the engine package, we got dual calibrated 1350, 1550s in there. Um, other key things, you got the intakes, we redid the intake so it gets rid of the old look. I'm not going to lie, this 1350 and 1550 setup is just one of the most amazing layouts that I've ever seen. And the fit and finish in here is top notch quality. Brett, can you walk us through a little bit about what was done in here? Uh, so before anything was in here, uh, we spent a good part of a week detailing out the engine compartment, making it, fairing it out, smoothing it, making it look like, I don't know, a finish. And then from there, uh, we got the 1350 and 1550s dual calibrated from Mercury. Um, with custom engine mounts, custom exhaust. Uh, we got a 25 gallon freshwater tank to feed your, your uh, sink showers, transom shower. Uh, 3.5 kilowatt Westerbeek generator. So when you're out on a sand bar or something with all your components running, you don't run out of battery. Everything's powered with a shadow caster system. So we set up zones. So underwater lights is zone, engine compartment zone, cockpit and cabin. So they can go between whatever colors, you can set scenes and stuff, make it go to the beat of the music. So even the engine compartment has lights in it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. That is very cool. Yeah. Uh, you got two Garmin cameras in here that you can pull up on the screen, just so without opening the hatch, you can check what's going on in here. You know, let's talk a little bit about bolster seats. Me being a bigger guy, you know, getting behind the wheel of this machine, I notice how comfortable it is and how it wraps around, you know, somebody of my size. Usually, you know, the seats in the past have always been uncomfortable, especially in those long rides through Key West and things like that. What was the uh, thinking behind the high bolsters and the wraparounds and uh, what inspired this design? Uh, so, obviously it, it hugs you in, like no matter what size you are, you get squished in there with the side side panels. Um, the height of it, normal bolster seats just do lower back, like that's all it's supporting. You're really, when you are when you push back in there, it's really upper back to shoulders. So we made them a little bit taller for you, any size, short people to people our size. And it's very, very comfortable. Let's talk a little bit about this windshield. You had mentioned a couple different things about no fasteners or anything else like that. What makes this windshield unique? And you guys do make it in-house, which makes it unique in itself. Yeah. But what else adds to the mystique of this windshield? So a lot of people aren't doing uh, fastenless windshields either. People look at that and think it's not right. But I mean, the technology with glue and stuff, we have, we have a big enough surface area going all the way around with the landing that it's plenty strong enough to withstand the forces that it's going to be getting. Um, other than that, it's a huge upgrade from the frame, uh, the framed windshield. The biggest complaint. I heard was that when you're running, it was right in your line of sight, so you either had to duck down or look forward, and this just gets rid of it altogether. Fountain spared no expense when you head down into the cabin for the evening after a great poker run. You know, with the Western Beak generator, when you're on the water, it's easy to run the air conditioner. But even at the dock at night, you got ample headroom, you got a full head and shower to the starboard side, you got a full galley with a refrigerator, you even have a little bit of freezer storage right here for those afternoon uh, special ice cubes that you might be putting into that uh, favorite cocktail. Moving forward, very comfortable seating with a nice bed to relax and get ready for the next day on the water. Now that Brett has walked us through the ins and outs of this magnificent beast, I can't wait to get her on the water and see what she can really do. Reaching speeds of over 125 miles an hour, the throttles were not even pushed down to reach the maximum speeds. Making turns at over 90 miles an hour, you would have never known until you looked down at the GPS. Not only does she handle 
like you would expect a fountain to handle, but the all new redesigns of the deck, the interior, and the seats make this a boat that you do not want to miss, and she is going to be a head turner whether she's on the water or at the docks. I'm Captain Chris, and I will see you on the water.